Joe, this case was reported by the patient's physician who made a possible link to vaping. But because there's not a lot of research regarding e-cigarettes, it may take a while to figure out what the cause of the illness is. The state says the patient is under 18 years old with serious lung injury. It was reported earlier this week, and the Big Island resident is currently hospitalized and receiving treatment. The state health department is urging physicians to be on alert for signs of severe respiratory illness among patients who recently used vaping products, including e-cigarettes and THC products. Tuesday, a medical advisory was sent to all physicians statewide. A state health official we spoke to says e-cigarette use is scary because there's not a lot of information about the effects of vaping. Vaping right now appears to be hazardous, and the problem is we don't know why. We don't know whether it's e-cigarettes or marijuana-type e-cigarettes or combination thereof. We just don't know. So until we know that, so caution would say, don't vape. What's worse, officials say this is a disease affecting teens and young adults. Data from 2017 shows that 26% of high school students smoke e-cigarettes, which is twice the national average, making Hawaii the second in the nation for e-cigarette use among high school students following Colorado. Symptoms to look out for include coughing, shortness of breath, chest pain, weight loss, dizziness, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever, to name a few. People are dying from this pulmonary illness. And if one looks at the case counts, they're going up at a very fast rate. This doesn't seem to be slowing down. Currently, there are no confirmed cases in Hawaii of lung injuries associated with vaping. Officials are still investigating the cause of the Big Island patient's illness.